Welcome. Let us quickly have a look. Uh, how can we create a simple customized report? So we go to report section and uh, below default reports, we have the option of my reports. So we suggest that you should keep all of your reports in your folder. So just right click on my reports and there is an option of new and then there is an option of folder. Let me create a folder name with my name. So I have created a folder, group reads report. Now I will create all of my reports within this folder. It will help other people working on my farm. So they will not uh, disturb my reports. They will see only into their folders with their reports. Now, if I want to create a new report within my folder, I will right click on my folder, go to new and go to report. Under this uh, window, I will give a relative name so that it should be understandable that what kind of data I will see in this report. From the beginning, let's take an example. I want to see in the report, I want to see all the animals of my farm with their days and milk, with their breed name, in which group they are, and what is their age in months. So I give it a name like general data of animals. Okay, so when I click save, It has uh, opened a new window where I have all of my animals in the column name animal number. At the bottom, if I right click, I have options to see the count. So I have 183 animals in my farm and their numbers are already here. What, I, what more I want to see? I want to see their days in milk. So when we are making a new report this place is where the report is prepared i will have different columns here in a tabular form and then these are the available options for example what kind of animals i want to see in this report do i want to see all animals or i want to see only uh, milking cows, for example, I give you an example of uh, milking cows. So if I click here and I click refresh, now it is showing me only 89 animals because there are only 89 animals in milk. So it is up to me in the report, do I want to see all the animals or a specific type of animals? So there are many options here. If I want to see only dry cows, then I have the option of uh, dry cows also. Like this, I select dry cows and then I click refresh. So I have 10 dry cows only. So let us keep it simple. I want to see all the animals, all animals, and I click refresh. When I say all animals, it has male animals also, it has dry animals also, and it has uh, young stock as well. And this portion has all the columns, all the possible columns I can put in the report. Well, my first column should be days in milk. So this is a very common column, so it is uh, provided. Uh, very easily here. I will select it. I will drag and drop it with the help of mouse. It is there. And now I just need to press refresh. When I press refresh, it will fill the information in that column. Like animal number 27 is uh, 158 days in milk. Okay. And my next column is group name because I want to see in which group they are. I drag and drop it here. I refresh it. I have the name of the group. 
for each and every animal. Similarly, if I want to see their lactation number, I can drag and drop the lactation number column and and I also want to see the age in month. So that is something not there in, uh, in this place because it is in one of these folders because each folder is a category. And now the age is kind of general data. So it will come here. If I expand general, now I have age. I want to see age in days, age in months, age in years so i want to see age in months i will select it drag and drop it refresh it and here it goes so i have the age in months for all the animals for example i want to see the average age of all of the animals in my farm then at the bottom of this column if i right click and I click average. Now I can see that the average age of my animals is 30 months. Some animals are like 127 8 months, 139 months old, and there might be some animals with only a few months, like 33 months. Some animals are 28 months old, some animals are 25 months old. So the average age is 30.2 month. Let us say this is the information I want to see in this report. And the report is ready. Now I just need to click save and close. This report is now in my folder with the name general data of animals. Whenever I want to see this report, I will go to report section. I will go to my folder. I will expand my folder and I will double click on general data of animals and I have the information in front of me. I hope it is very easy and if you want to export the same information to Excel, you can simply click here, export, in which format we want it in Excel, so export to Excel, click here. It will ask me where do you want to save it. Let us say I want to save it in my documents. Give it a name, Delpro report uh, general data. Click save. That file is saved. So uh, it is in my document. So whenever I want the Excel file, I can go there. I can get the Excel file also. I want to say that this is very easy method to see the data within software. And when we want the data to be sent to somebody else, then we can export it to Excel, save it on your computer, and then you can attach that Excel file and send it through email to your consultant or anybody else you want. Okay. I hope uh, it is helpful for you. Please let me know uh, if there is any query related to this video and um, I will try my best to answer you as soon as possible. We will soon catch up with the next video with some more advanced reports. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good day. Be safe. Bye-bye.